Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick tip on modeling a diamond in Moto. Start with a cylinder with 24 sides in one segment. Select the top cap of the cylinder and bevel it using the polygon bevel tool with a segment count of two to create the crown of the diamond. Use the add loop tool to create a new segment just beneath the crown to create the girdle of the diamond. Select the center loop of the crown, deselect every third edge and use edge collapse to create the upper girdle facets. Select the edges between the triangles branching off the top cap and collapse them. Select the edges between the triangles that make up the star facets and remove them to complete the table and star facets of the diamond. Select the edges between the upper girdle facets and use Select Ring. Deselect the edges in the crown and use Edge Collapse on the remaining selected edges. Select the center crown segments and remove them to complete the crown. Select the bottom cap of the cylinder and scale it down and move it up to start work on the pavilion. Select one of the vertical edges on the pavilion and add a segment using Loop Slice. Select the bottom cap polygon and collapse it. Select the verts on the pavilion that are positioned between the upper girdle facets and vertex bevel them. Use merge vertices to clean up the pavilion geometry and to create the lower girdle facets and the pavilion facets. Select the vert at the tip of the pavilion and bevel it to create the cullet. Select the vertical edges between the upper girdle facets and scale them down in the y-axis to finish off the shape of the girdle. You now have a round, brilliant cut diamond. Oh, look at the time.